Hello students, your science teacher is again here. Earlier, we have studied Unit 5 Animals. I hope you must have understood the concept very well. Today, I should help you complete its exercise. But before we start our exercise, let us go through some important points. Animals live on land, in water and some can fly. Animals have special body parts which are used in different ways. Some animals are wild and others are tame. Tame animals help us in many ways. We get food and other useful products from animals. Some young animals look like their parents, others do not. Scavengers are some wild animals. They eat flesh of dead animals. Okay, let's start our exercise. Open page number 37. We will do question number 1. Choose the correct answer. Which of these would be useful for a wild animal that eats deer? A. The ability to run fast. B. The ability to move quietly. C. Large claws and teeth. D. All of the above. Choose the correct answer and circle it. Hurry up. Number 2 is, which three of these can come from hen? A. Meat. B. Eggs. C. Feathers. D. Milk. Circle three of the things that we get from hen. Number 3 is, which of these animals is a scavenger? A. Horse. B. Bear. C. Vulture. D. Tiger. Circle the correct answer quickly. Move on to the fourth. Which of these have webbed feet? A. Ducks. B. Bears. C. Fish. D. Goat. Choose the correct one and circle it. And the last one is, which of these is a wild animal? A. Horse. B. Kitten. C. Bear. D. Sheep. Circle the correct one quickly. We are done with question number one. Dear students, now we will check the answers of question number 1. Number 1 is, which of these would be useful for a wild animal that eats deer? What is the answer? All of the above. Number 2 is, which three of these can come from hen? What is the answer? Yes, meat, eggs, feathers. Very good. Next is, which of these animals is a scavenger? Let's check the answer. Vulture. Very good. Number four is, which of these have webbed feet? Ducks. Very good. The last one is, which of these is a wild animal? Let's check the answer. Bear. Okay, students, we are done with question number one. Now we will do question number two. Fill in the blanks using the words in the box. There are five words. Silkworm, sheep, hen, eggs, cat. Number one is, we get silk from a dash. Write the answer in the blank. You can take help from the pictures as well. Number two is, a dash is kept as a pet. It catches mice. Number three is, a dash lays eggs. Number four is, we get wool from dash. You have to choose the correct answers and you have to write it in the blanks. Number 5 is, frogs and fish are similar because both lay dash in water. Okay, done. Now let's check the answers of question number 2. Number 1 is, silkworm. Yes, we get silk from a silkworm. Number 2, cat. Yes, a cat is kept as a Pet, it catches mice. Number three. Hen. Our hen lays eggs. Very good. Number four is sheep. Yes, students, we get wool from sheep. The last one is eggs. Very good. Frogs and fish are similar because both lay eggs in water. Now we are done with question number two. Okay, students. Let's do question number 3, page number 38. Look at the picture and complete the fact file about frogs below. 
using the correct words and phrases from the brackets. Number one is a frog lives in dash, air, water, land, land and water. Number two is it has dash limbs, two, four, six. Choose the correct answers and write them in the blanks. Number three is its skin is dash, dry and scaly, bumpy and wet. Write down the answer. Number four is it dash a neck has does not have number five it eats dash flies grass number six it dash hisses croaks screeches the last one is baby frogs are called dash crystal is tadpoles write down the correct answers okay students let's check the answer Number one is a frog lives in land and water. Number two, it has four limbs. Number three, its skin is bumpy and wet. Number four, it dash a neck. It does not have a neck. Number five, it eats flies. Sixth is it croaks. Number seventh is baby frogs are called tadpoles. Question number 3 is completed. Let's do question number 4. Page number 38. Now make a fact file on the butterfly. Number 1. A butterfly has dash legs. 6, 4. Write down the correct one. Number 2. A butterfly has dash stages in its life cycle. Write down the correct answer. 2, 4 or 6. Number 3. A butterfly lays eggs on dash, land or water. Choose the correct one and write it. The last one is a butterfly has two dash, antennae or wings. Write down the correct answer. Let's check the answers of question number four. Number one is a butterfly has six legs. Number two, a butterfly has four stages in its life cycle. Number three, a butterfly lays eggs on land. Number four, a butterfly has two antennae. Very good students. Now we will do question number five, page number 38. Name the following. An animal with a hump on its back. Write the name of animal with its hump. Hurry up students. Number two is an animal with horns. There are many animals with horns. You can write the name of any one. Number three is an animal with claws. Same like horns, there are many animals with claws too. So write the name of any one. Hurry up. Very good. Number four is an animal with tusks. Write the name of the animal. Number five is an animal with fur. There are many animals with fur. Write name of any one. You can take help from pictures. Okay students, now we are done with exercise question number five. Let's check the answers. What is the answer of number one? An animal with a hump on its back. Wow, very good. That's camel. Number two, an animal with horns. Cow. You can write bull, a name of any animal that has horns. Number three is an animal with claws. Tiger. You can write eagle. You can write name of any other animal too. Okay. Number four is an animal with tusks. That is elephant. Very good. Number five, an animal with fur. Bear. Very good. You can write rabbit. You can write cat. And there are many animals. Okay, students. Now we are done with question number 5. Let's do question number 6. Page number 38. Look at the pictures on page 33 and match the following. Number 1 is trunk. Number 2 is fur. Number 3 is fin. Number four is horns. Number five is tail. You have to match them with the correct answers. 
Let's check the answers of question number 6. Number 1 is trunk. Trunk is used for grasping, breathing and producing sound. Number 2 is fur. Fur is used for keeping warm. Number 3 is fin. Fin is used for sliding through the water easily. Number 4 is horns. Horns are used for fighting. And the last one is tail. Tail is used for balancing on branches. Ok students, now we will do question number 7, page number 39. What are the following parts used for? Think carefully, there may be more than one use for each. First of all, we will discuss about birds. Number 1 is claw. Claws are used to catch and hold prey. As I have told in the previous video. Next is feather. Feather cover most of the bird's body. Next is tail. Birds can change their direction by twisting their tails. Four is beak. Birds use their beaks to catch the worms and to eat grains. The last is wing. Wing helps the bird to fly. You have to write these on your notebooks. And you can find any other use and you can write it on your notebook. Next is fish. Number one, gill. Fish use their gills to breathe. Number two, scale. Scales cover their body. Number three, tail. Fish use their tails to move through the water. Number four, fin. Fin help the fish swim. The last one is mouth. Fish use their mouths to feed and also use their mouths to do things that many animals do with their paws. Now we will do question number 8, page number 39. Draw a feather. If you can find one to look at, use it to help you draw your picture. Dear students, draw a picture of a feather in this box. Before starting question number 9, I want to show you some pictures of different animals. Eel, Lizard, Octopus, Shark. From these pictures, Eel, Octopus and Shark, they live in water and Lizard, it lives on land. Rabbit, Crab, Lobster, Goldfish. Crab, lobster and goldfish, these animals live in the water and the rabbit lives on land. Whale, rat, centipede, scorpion. Rat, scorpion and centipede, these animals live on land while whale lives in the water. These are the animals, nightingale. Orangutan, seahorse, jackal. Nightingale, orangutan and jackal, they live on land and seahorse lives in the water. Now question number 9 is, write the names of these animals in the correct columns of the table below. These are the names of the animals that you have seen before. You have to choose the correct one and you have to write them in the correct column. 